Uh, I'm Suzanne Alexandria, and I just was on a show um, called Beyond the Ordinary with John Burgos. And someone asked a question. We are taking live questions. And as I sit um, and in pure gratitude for this experience tonight, um, I've got a, a refinement of a message that came through. And it's it's for those of you who are leaders and intuitive hearts, empaths, teachers, healers, um, leaders out in business, guiding from your well within and from your sourced soul. So, so many of you, the spirit is telling me this to say, so many of you have been, had pretty magical lives and have been able to pull off quite astounding things in business, in uh, getting yourself up and running, like even getting out of family dynamics into health and things like that. They say, you're really good at pulling magic out of a hat. I see a hat suspended in air. It The magic comes from beyond the veil. You, you know how to do that. When the, when the, when, when the rubber needs to hit the road, you get on it, you get that project going, you get that job, you get that client, you do it. That is huge. We love that about you. And we gather our resources to help you with, with that. But there comes a time when that's not enough. And that can actually deplete you way more than you think when you're serving so many. We fundamentally want you to shift into your the your knowing that the best place to do all your service is from the well within you that knows no bounds and that is fully supported by divine love and by divine birthright and by your soul's inherent connection as a source to source. So your central well, your central light column. Now again, the guides will always tell me to say the only way to keep that repaired and nurtured and nourished is to keep being in harmony with us and with God, with the divine. Find the methodologies and practices that work for you, uh, like your morning routine and meditation, your yoga, church, your time at the ocean or the stream or the trees. That is imperative to keep your well sourced and nourished. But when we speak of high service as a priestess or a priest of light who gives and gives and gives, again, this metaphor of reach having to reach a hat <laughs> that is over there that might be a little difficult to reach into, it, it's it's a little more work than fundamentally knowing there's infinite flow through you, infinite source light. And when you 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 source it from here, your big open heart, your gut, your gut knowing your intuition and your soul, which can provide answers that you're like, everyone's like, where'd that come from? Because <laughs> it was channeled that's going to be the biggest miracle for miracle inner revolution for a lot of you again empaths um, mystics therapists especially um healers working in the the high arts keep refining how you source from within and know thyself if you don't know what your giftings are, what your clair clairvoyance is, what your tools are, get down and dirty and figure that out. That's what I help women and men do all the time through my sessions and especially through my mastery programs, um, including my Akashic Records for light workers and therapists and healers. I help activate and let help you know your truth. And that's that's one of my um, strengths and my jobs. So if that calls to you, let's get on the, the phone about that. 
all the information is on my my website. Um, but through session work too, I can help you instrumentally understand, and you'll always get homework from the 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 guides who love us from the mother energies from the archangels so that you can continue to source from the well within knowing that that gets sourced from the well above infinitely and then it starts to just be your norm so we wish you a, a delightful in initiation time into a deepening in the well in you through us and come to the the well with your team esteemed colleagues <laughs> esteemed brothers and sisters they're calling you colleagues because you work with them in the light and let let the light um, make its way through all the parts in you that are still craving full fulfillment and wholeness and then you'll serve wherever you serve with the greatest majesty. What a beautiful message. Thank you to all the guides and thanks for listening. And you can find more at SuzanneAlexandria.com on all of this. Um, but I'd love to see you in an upcoming class or Thursday call or a program. So um, blessings abound. And uh, I see you. I can't wait to see more of your wholeness in action. Namaste. And have a blessed, blessed day.